Hello, welcome back to another You Ask, I Answer. Nick, has the MCU peak with the Thanos saga, the Infinity Saga? Is it over? Is that the best that we're ever gonna have and gonna be forever be disappointed with the rest of what Marvel bring to the screen going forward? A lot of people has been negative about what they have seen with Marvel the last two years. And I, I understand that. Nothing in the last two years have been so great that I want to see it again and again and again. But I don't think it has peaked. For sure, what makes the Avengers movie so far so great is what? The characters. At the end of the day, it is about Steve Rogers and Tony Stark. The characters matters, okay? So to lose those two characters, to not have them in other movies since, certainly it's hard to compare, okay? It is the characters. Shang-Chi is no Tony Stark. Shang-Chi is no Captain America, Steve Rogers, okay? The Eternals are not. So it's hard to compare and it's no way to compare many things that came after the Avengers movie to those two iconic characters. But I don't think the best is in yet because there are still so many well-loved, fan-favorite characters that are yet to be on the big screen. The Fantastic Four, Silver Surfer, the Mutants, the X-Men, okay? So the best, I would say the best is yet to come, I don't know. But there will be more iconic characters that will come into the big screen in the future. Could be two years from now, three years from now, who knows. But fan favorite Wolverine, yeah, I can see that. And as far as storyline, can we have something that is as bombastic and as massive as the Infinity Gauntlet storyline? Yeah, the Dark Phoenix Saga, yeah. That is one storyline that can be told in many movies. The right way would be would have Phoenix evolve slowly into Dark Phoenix instead of what Fox did in two movies. Two different times with two different actresses. They, they can, Fox thought that they can do the Dark Phoenix Saga in one movie. Utter nonsense. That's why those movies fail and flop, okay? So for me, the Dark Phoenix saga, if told correctly, can be spanned over many movies and culminating in an intergalactic force across the galaxy to stop her because she is that powerful. Destroy world kind of power, right? Same thing with Galactus. And the Silver Surfer, that story alone would bring together so many heroes to stop Galactus because he can destroy world. I have been a big proponent of doing a Silver Surfer standalone movie because his origin alone is so fantastic. For, at least for me, I love the origin of the Silver Surfer. So for me, doing a standalone movie with him and Galactus would be absolutely fantastic. And to defeat him, it once again, will require a major intergalactic force. And as far as current storyline, they're just planting the seed for secret war. They barely plant a seed for secret war. Who knows what they plan to do down the road? Who knows? Can they bring back Steve Rogers? Yeah, that would be something, right? So for me, my level of expectation and excitement for the MCU is still there, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna annoy the Thanos saga is the best that it can be. There are plenty more great stories to be told. And it's up to Marvel to figure out a way to do it right. That will make everyone excited for, but as far as iconic characters, that's the key. It's not about, can they make good movie? Can they make good movies with iconic characters?
characters. Okay, we had it with Tony Stark and Steve Rogers, the two cornerstone of the MCU. You can put in Thor as part of the trio, right? But it is a lot more about Tony Stark and Steve Rogers. And Marvel will need to figure out a way to introduce other iconic characters, other fan favorite like Wolverine, Storm, Phoenix, Professor X. There's many other things. The Fantastic Four family, right? So for now, my advice to people that have been down on the Marvel movie is that they can only do so much with B-level characters, okay? As great as uh, the Guardian of the Galaxy are, as those movies, those are not iconic characters. That's why they're not top three, top four, top five all-time grossing movies. People love Groots. People love Rocket Raccoon, but they know Tony Stark or Steve Rogers. Okay, keep that in mind. It's all about the character. So given time, Marvel will introduce other iconic characters that fan will gravitate and love. And along with a great story, you will have another massive event. And that is my answer. The MCU has not peaked yet. Okay, many more stories to be told, many, many more with many, many iconic characters. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.